What's up guys? So if you're into woodworking and doing any kind of cabinets, you're gonna have to punch some holes for some shelving. And there's a few options out there like the Craig tool um, that you manually drill them. And Rockler makes an option too that you manually drill holes, but manually drilling holes sucks. It is very time consuming. So if you're starting to do some production work, you're probably looking into one of these. There's a few of them on the market that are on the cheaper side. And one of those is being the Tooltech Industries. Um, I purchased this one, I think it was around $1,600 or so, delivered to the house. And um, so far, it's performed really well. They make a manual pull-down one, and they make this one that hooks up to pneumatic air. Um, came with everything to get it going. The stand, everything is actually very heavy-duty. It's a, a well-made machine for the cost compared to $2,500 to $4,000 machines that do the same thing. If you can see up there, I'm running it on just a small little uh, roll air air compressor. So let's go ahead and kick it on. It's got some flip stops here so you can reference the top of your piece. And sorry, try to do this one handed. Uh, this board isn't quite wide enough, but I can get it under there just fine. It has a foot pedal to work the pneumatic feature of it. So we'll kick it on. That's all there is to it. And then just slide it down and reference this pin for your next set of holes to cut. If you're doing long panels, start in the center, go out to the left, and then go out to the right. If you reference off one of these little guys here and keep working down, if you're a 32nd out or a 16th, then now you're an eighth on the next hole, and then you're a quarter on the following hole, so your pins aren't gonna line up. So start in the center, work your way out, and save yourself some headache. Anyways, I do recommend this guy. It's worked really well for me.